So our aircraft is going to do a loop and we're going to run this input macro. And our initial heading is north as he starts to loop. So our heading, heading is going to be zero degrees. And our initial data is level. And our initial roll angle is also zero degrees. And that gives us a direction cosine matrix C V to B of one one one. And if we take the ratio of element one two to one one, that gives us the heading, and we see the heading is zero. If we take the elements three three to two three. Three, three, or 2, 3 to 3, 3, we get 0 also, so we get 0. Now, if we have the aircraft do a loop right before it's vertically, say 84 degrees, we'll run this again. Our heading is still going to be north, 0 degrees. And let's say our pitch angle is 84 degrees, right before vertical. Our roll line is still 0 degrees and so now we see we have elements uh, that are giving us off diagonal elements 0.99 a skew symmetric type matrix and once again heading psi is 1 2 divided by 1 1 and so that's 0 and C um, roll Roll is 2, 3, which is 0, divided by 3, 3. 2, 3, divided by 3, 3, which is 0, divided by element, element 2, 3, second row, third column, divided by 3, 3, is going to be 0, again. So, we get 0, 0 once again, and I'm going to set matrix C1 equal to C, D, 2, D, so we can recall it later. Okay. Now we're going to go right past the vertical, just past the vertical at 94 degrees, and we're going to run it again. So we run it one more time. Now our heading has changed 180 degrees because we're past the vertical. But this is going to be 180 degrees or south. And then our theta is going to be 96 degrees. Now we're just past the vertical. And our roll angle, of course, is still 0 degrees. Now here's our C, V, to B with this one. And now if I'm going to compute the heading of the roll angle, which is uh, 2, 3 over 3, 3, 2, 3, over 3, 3, and we get 180 degrees. 18, second row, third column, this guy, over 3, 3, I got 0 of this, but now it's going to be a, on the minus sign, so it's going to be 180 degrees roll. And the heading is going to be 1, 2, 0, divided by 1. That's just 180. So the... Heading is right, and 180 degrees of roll is still, it's still zero degrees from the point of view of the cockpit. But now let's set this equal to C2, equal to C, D, 2, D. And now let's compare C1 and C2. So here is the matrix right after the aircraft's gone vertical, and here's the matrix right before it's gone vertical. And if we're computing the roll angle, we're looking at element 2, 3, which is on the second row, third column, over 3, 3. And you can see 2, 3 over 3, 3 is 0 divided by this element. And you can see as the aircraft goes from 84 to 96 degrees, 
0.1045 goes to minus 0.1045, that's going to go through zero. But once again, the roll angle is this element 2, 3 divided by 3, 3. And 3, 3, element 3, 3 is going to go through zero at 90 degrees, making it undefined. So we can say that roll E is undefined at theta equals 90 degrees. Now look at heading. Heading is 1, 2 over 1, 1. That's one element 1, 2 over element 1, 1. Here also, notice element 1, 1 has gone from plus 0.1 to minus 0.1. So this is at 84 degrees, 0.1, and this is at 96 degrees, minus 0.1. So at 90 degrees, this has gone through 0. So if I'm dividing this element, 1, 2, by 1, 1, I'm also going to get an undefined answer. Therefore, heading psi is also Now you can use this input, I'll put this on the uh, polyland side, so you can play with it. And we'll do this with quaternions as well. Um, and you might want to check this for 90, minus 90 degrees, put a thing in a minus 90 degrees and see that the same thing happens. Okay, that's all.